much like Frank, anything in nature, um, different seasons, different landscapes. Um, he was, of course, the master at it of, of taking those landscapes and colors and that inspiration and turning it into these magnificent structures. So the Frank Lloyd Wright color collection was actually a, a color collection that he put together in 1955, and his inspiration was nature. So that particular one is of Taliesin West down in Scottsdale. So you'll see a lot of the colors of the indigenous stone, um, the foliage in the area, even the sky. And this has, there is inspiration throughout, and you'll see the colors reflected, whether it be the ochre color used on the exterior, of course, his Cherokee red that he's so well known for, even the colors in the upholstery and the foliage outside are all referenced in the palette. I think the, the house is, it's a visceral experience. It's, it's not just an intellectual experience. It's something that, that hits you in the gut and uh, it just takes your breath away. And maybe it's, maybe it's that uh, desire to live in harmony with nature. I mean, don't we all dream as a child of living in a tree house for the rest of our lives? And, and, and amid the, the flora and the fauna. Falling water, the thing that inspires me the most about it is the innovation. You know, Frank Lloyd Wright was so far ahead of his time and I've never visited, I've always heard about the facility, but going there I just had no idea how innovative he was. And he, just looking around the place, some of the things, some of the innovations in the facility are even ahead of this time, I believe. It's just amazing to me. Keeping an open eye and just being open to finding inspiration anywhere. And it really speaks a lot to a client who's willing to surrender a lot of control to a person with um, just based off of a belief that they can do something that will result in something significant. As someone who's just able to walk through and witness it, it's, you know, it's incredible to see that they were willing to let Frank Lloyd Wright, you know, execute his vision to such a degree that he wanted to execute it. I definitely have a new respect for Frank Lloyd Wright after seeing Falling Water. Uh, not that I haven't been a fan, but it's just, it's, it's amazing to see the amount of detail that goes into um, a residence like that. And just all the little nuanced things and the amazing way that he tied that into the nature and how even at different vantage points, you might see something completely different every time you turn around or take a step. It's like a whole new experience, just every direction you look. And the color palette is just beautiful. It's very nice, very um, kind of calming. And yeah, just brings to mind that kind of nature and, and yet still has some like pop and color and, you know, fascination to it. Really appreciate where you are and your place and make the most of it. Uh, to walk down that path with that house not being there, I don't have the vision to see a house like that there. So to, the, it takes my breath away to see that and all the different viewpoints and all the different angles and, and how beautiful it really is.